Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Lord of the Rings PC DOS game. This is your host, Tifa's Revenge, and we have arrived at Sharky Shippin'. Now, this is a very big area in the game, actually. It's a lot bigger than you think, so... What you can do before you go downstairs or before you do anything, you want to talk to Oldenad there. This is Sharking Shipping. We don't expect folks to find us all the way out here. <laughs> Wonder if he knows anything about the White Hand. Wizard Saruman is trying to protect the White Hand. Tells us who we can trust. What about Saruman? Wasn't he evil? Let's see if let's see if we can get anything from this guy. Now, I'm gonna buy a rope and a Let's see, a pry bar. I think I have one of those. I'll just have to check my inventory here. Let's just see. There's my rope. If I don't have a pry bar, I could always just buy one here. So I just want to make sure because I, I know I get. Oh, there it is. I know I'm gonna need one later. So. And let's buy a white hand. Okay. That's all you really want to buy there, and um, before we descend into the stairs, let's just go back this way a little bit. And you remember this little area right here where all these humans were? Several big men are asleep here, and a corner is a pile of papers on a table. So you want to sneak around here, otherwise they're going to attack you. So let's see here. Can you read yet? No, I've got to get closer to that table. Um, or sneak. Who's got sneak? Oh, that's right. Pippin does. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look and see what we can read here. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed my HP is up. I just used a few of my... Um, items and rearrange my inventory off screen so I hope nobody minds. Journal with today's date says Nan Kurunir and records the sale of pipe weed. Very interesting. Okay now I'm going to show you guys what happens if you do not sneak. All three of these guys will attack you but fortunately I've got better weapons and better equipment. So just consider this like, you know, a warm-up. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are like uh, bad dudes and like sharky shipping and all that, so you want you want to take them out. Let's see. I know I have like a second bow here. Maybe not. Yeah, watch this. Love how you could just swap items or weapons just like that. So I've got a bow and I've got a dagger. Ow. These guys are going to hit me. Um, debating whether I should use. Well, yeah, of course. Come on, let's kill these guys. There we go, one down. Go with Thale one. Man, she just rocks. But don't worry, we'll actually get a better party member later on. Ow. Nice, 10 points of damage. You see that? Wow. All right, that's two down. Let's see, Frodo, do you have a bow? No. I don't know if you guys have played any of the Dungeons and Dragons Gold Box games, but the combat system is fairly similar to this right here in Lord of the Rings. I mean, you just take your turns, you move, and then you attack. Let's 
And the thing is, is once you die, then you're like gone. So again, you know, it's very similar to Dungeons and Dragons style. <laughs> all right, good job, Athelwyn. So now all these guys are dead. Not much else in here though. But just let, let's just consider that a warm up. So let's check our HP. Frodo got hit a little bit there. I wonder if I can use any more items. Rations. Oh, she already ate. I just wasted that. You see, if you eat twice a day, then yeah, your food just dies like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load my game real quick. Because that's all I really needed to do there. Anyway, is just get that password. All right, so anyway, I know it's kind of cheating, but whatever, you know, you, we're going to be restoring and, and, and doing a lot of that in this game, so. All right, so now we're going to go downstairs. Old Nan sees you near the cellar and shouts, Stay away from there! No one is allowed down there. Stay away from the summoner? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the basement of Sharky Shipping here. This is a big, long maze. Ooh, lock chest. Let's pick the lock and see what's in here. Find something that you can use. More rations and more silver pennies. Nice. So now we're up to 11.15. That's like 100 in there. That's a sweet deal, huh? Let's see, what's up here? Anything up here? You notice a big orc, he, and he is asleep. He wakes with a start, and he attacks you. Lovely. All right, so that this is an uruk. Back, basically, they're a, a stronger version of of orcs. I'll use my winter chill spell there. For Twelve points of damage. Put the bow here. Kill a little. Right. Oh man. Alright, come on, go get him, Druin. Maybe the pony will kick his butt. <laughs> nope. Come on, die. Go Frodo. All right, one orc down. If there's anything here. Find something that you can use. Nice. A rusty key. Let's keep that for later. All right, so. Let's go this way. Oh. The, the, through, the ruins are ancient, and the door is in perfect repair. It is obvious to anyone that there is a lot there are that a lot of people have come and gone here recently and then we weren't hobbits the door is locked well that's weird i went out i guess it's just locked from the inside so let's let's pick the lock and we can go back in so that's another entrance into sharky's shipping basement here this is like a big old underground uh-oh these shallow face men do not look friendly. One of them almost looks like an orc. They sneer at you. I hope you have the right question for us, the leader says, his voice definitely implying a threat. All right, so what you want to do is you want to talk to these guys immediately. We don't like those who enter Gorth Gorthod without permission. So let's give them that password, Nan Kurinir. Is that it? Very good. You may pass, friend. You may go about your business. Now, if you hadn't given them the password, then they would attack you. So that's very useful. And look at this. As you approach the cell, a short, immense, emaciated hobbit with brown, hollow eyes and matted brown hair and beard shuffles to the bars. You are not with them, he rasps. I can tell you that. My name's... Appledore, now of Appledore, I used to 
sell mining equipment up freeway. Ferdy said to bring my best goods down here. Said they were paying top coin. He laughed sharply, then coughs painfully. Spitting something dark into the rancid straw. I have been living for the day when I came to see old Fernie again. Teeth clenched tight, he pauses and stares wide-eyed at you through the bars. You came for the secret, then Marks are digging a secret in the cave. Made me dig in the big old hole, too, till the sickness came in on me. Now it's just the orcs digging. There's something powerful and nasty down there. Even the orcs can sense it. But working the holes is still a bit better than going the way of old Grimbosh Black Book. Oh, Black Book, huh? Four of me lads went that way, screaming powerful loud and long. Grimbosh comes in and he sneers his face at me, saying he's got something special in mind for me for someday soon. Says, the dark thing is almost ready to come up and needs me to finish things up. With a shudder, Knob grabs the bars and says, Say, folks, you're not going to leave me in here now, are you? Well, um, unfortunately, we do want to leave him in there for now. I'm just going to save my game here. Because if you, if you are caught with him released, then the guards will attack you. But we, we'll, we'll come back for him later. Let's just explore this place a little bit more. So there's stairs here. Let's go. Let's go down these stairs first. I'd say. Oh yeah, this this area. Now I'm gonna save again here. And if we just enter this area without knowing anything, watch what's gonna happen. This is gonna suck. Thea one smiles. She goes to Grimbosh's side. I would do as Grimbosh says. The Gray Fool. Gandalf cannot save us, but the min Lord of Many Colors can. Surrender the ring to him. There is a great orc sitting in the chair. He pulls a sword. Grimbosh knows why you are here. Surrender, or Grimbosh kills you. Yeah, let's surrender. Why not? Grimbosh summons many orcs and men. The ring is taken from you and eventually falls its way back into the true Lord of the, the Rings. Now, if you say no, then you'd have to fight both Athelwyn and Grimbosh. But I'm just going to show you guys the game over screen because I don't think I've shown it to you guys yet. There's Sauron. He's got all the fire. I am the Dark Lord of Mordor. I have forged the One Ring to rule them all. And game over. The end. You have failed. Sauron has finally recovered the ring. Your quest is over. All right, so let's just restore our game here. So you'll be doing that a lot this game. You just don't know what kind of twists will happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss Eowyn temporarily. And we're going to go take on this badass ogre. There's a great orc sitting in the chair. He pulls a sword. Grimbosh knows why you are here. Surrender or Grimbosh kills you. How about no? It's boss time! Now, Grimbosh, he's a really powerful orc. You don't want to, to attack. Like, you don't want to take him for granted, I'd say. He's almost as powerful as a troll in this game. He's got a lot of HP, he's got a lot of attack, but fortunately, he doesn't attack twice. He doesn't have a whole lot of speed. Oh, come on. Druin's stuck there. Uh, sometimes, you know, the way they place like party members and all that, it just messes up. Alright, Grimbosh is dead. Nice. That was too easy. Alright, so now I'm going to recruit Athel one back again. So that's just a little trick that I learned. I mean, normally you're supposed to lose Athelwyn here, but I want to keep her around because she's just badass. <laughs> All right, so let's let's pick the lock. You've been struck by a poison needle. Oh, lovely. There's a letter in the bottom of the chest. Well, let's read the letter. 
Come on, you guys know how to read, right? There we go. The bottom of the chest is, of Grimbaugh's chest is a scroll. You read it carefully. I am in interested in several matters in your area. I understand that the golden wheel may be near. It must be obtained. Any weapon of such power will be useful against my enemy. Not to mention essential in finding Durin's axe. As for the voices in the stone circles that you reported, I am also interested in that. Try dropping items deliberately in the circle and record the voices that you hear. It, it may provide clues to the halls of Khazad-dûm, which I have not visited since before the coming of Durin's Bane. Your obedience is essential. Do not make enemies. As, as for that other matter, she is handling that. Keep your ears open. Do not meddle with it unless it comes to your doorstep. The use of force may attract the nine riders, and they must be avoided at all costs. I am pleased with your work to date. Tell Old Nod not to bother with the non-essentials. The shipping company is only a matter of minor amusement to me, of little consequences in my overall plans. And there's a bunch of dashes and an S. The scroll is emblazoned with the symbol of the white hand. S. Hmm, Saruman maybe? So I, the plot thickens. All right, so. Very interesting developments indeed. We can go now and look deeper in, inside here, see if we can't find that golden wheel. Or we can go outside and get some clues. Or we can go find that book that Grimbosh has. Alright, yeah, I gotta talk to the guards again and tell them non career non -coroner. There we go. You may pass. And yeah, there's Net Knob Apple Door again. Anyway, I'm gonna save my game here. We'll call it a call it a, a video. And then next next let's play we'll we will do part two of Sharky Shipping. This is Tifa's Revenge signing off. Hope you all are having a great day. Take care.